Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will now have uh, statements from uh, the Secretary General and uh, the Prime Minister, and then we will probably have time for just one question, unfortunately. Uh, Secretary General. Uh, Prime Minister Gakaria, uh, dear Georgi, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here to the NATO headquarters, and uh, I really appreciate the strong and uh, close uh, partnership uh, between uh, Georgia and, uh, and NATO. Uh, uh, and uh, it is also a pleasure of, uh, to welcome uh, the Foreign Minister um, uh, to uh, NATO headquarters, because uh, I think that uh, reflects uh, the, the political importance of uh, our uh, partnership. Georgia is one of NATO's most important partners. You contribute to our shared security in many different ways, including with troops in NATO's training mission in Afghanistan. We can all be proud of what we do together, and you can be proud of your contributions to our uh, shared uh, security and uh, uh, contributions to NATO missions and uh, operations. During our meeting today, uh, we also discussed uh, the close uh, cooperation uh, between Georgia and NATO uh, on the uh, Black Sea security. Earlier this year, uh, allies agreed to strengthen our partnership even further. This includes sharing more air traffic radar data, working jointly to address hybrid threats, as well as um, doing joint e exercises in the Black Sea uh, region. Uh, NATO supports uh, Georgia's territorial integrity and sovereignty within uh, its internationally recognized uh, borders. We call on Russia to end its recognition of the regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia uh, and to withdraw its forces. We welcome the progress Georgia is making on reforms. Your country has already made good progress in modernizing your armed forces and in strengthening your democracy. And I encourage you to continue making full use of all the opportunities for coming closer to uh, NATO and to prepare for membership. We count uh, on Georgia to ensure next month's uh, elections uh, meet the highest uh, international standards. This is important for Georgia and for NATO. So, Prime Minister, uh, thank you for coming to NATO. Uh, thank you for meeting me at the NATO headquarters today and for your strong personal commitment to our alliance. NATO's partnership with Georgia makes us all safer and more secure. So, once again, welcome, and it's a great pleasure to have you here. Mr. Secretary, first of all, let me thank you for hosting us today. And very productive meeting, and personally for me it was a very substantial conversation. During our very productive meeting with the Secretary General, a number of issues has been discussed, including the NATO-Georgia dynamic bilateral cooperation, multiple high-level visits, and successful completion of NATO-Georgia exercise in 2011. NATO-Georgia Commission meetings and substantial NATO-Georgia package have been identified as important instruments in advancing NATO-Georgia cooperation. It is very important for us to keep the political dimension of SNGP in order to support Georgia's preparation for full membership. We have underlined Georgia's commitment to continue participation in resolute support mission. We have underlined the importance of development practical mechanism to enhancing Black Sea security. And Black Sea security becomes more and more important in our cooperation. We have this discussed also Georgia's role in the narrow South Caucasus paradigm and highlighted the importance to our role beyond in a wider Black Sea region. We once again underline the importance of open door policy maintained by NATO. We have discussed situation in occupied territories of Georgia, Abkhazia and Sikhin Valley region and I would like to express our gratitude to and thankfulness for, for Secretary General for your support to territorial integrity and sovereignty of Georgia. We also discussed discuss Georgia's progress in its Euro-Atlantic integration, past and country's democratic reforms. Once again, I would like to thank you, Chief Secretary General, for hosting us and in, for very, very important and productive conversation. Uh, we have time for one question. We'll take uh, immediate TV.
Uh, Georgian TV Imedi Ketamankarda, good morning. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome to Brussels and NATO. And Mr. Secretary General, I'm very happy to see you here again because of the pan pandemic. We have no chance to come here. Uh, how would you evaluate the progress made by Georgia on its path? Uh, to future membership, of course, and uh, also I want to ask you what possibilities do you see on NATO's eastern flank to engage more? And you mentioned Black Sea region. From your perspective, what uh, role can Georgia play? Can you tell us more? We always emphasize on this issue, but we want yeah. to hear from you as much as yeah. it is possible. And uh, Mr. Prime Minister, what message have you passed, just passed, to NATO? Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me start by uh, commending Georgia for the progress Georgia has made over several years on implementing reforms uh, to strengthen their uh, democratic institutions, uh, to, uh, to strengthen democratic uh, oversight over uh, uh, intelligence, uh, security services, uh, uh, strengthen democratic control over the armed forces, and uh, implement reforms in many other areas. Uh, I have. Uh, in particular, I underline the importance of continuing reforming the judiciary and also making sure a full uh, democratic oversight of the security services. N uh, Georgia has uh, made and is making uh, progress on all these areas, and uh, we uh, welcome and encourage a further focus on uh, reform. And we also discussed that during our meeting. Um, the good thing is that. Uh, we see that Georgia and NATO are now working more closely together than we have done ever before. Uh, as we have stated, there is more NATO in Georgia, but also more Georgia and NATO than we have seen before. And step by step, we are uh, uh, doing more uh, together. Recently, we have focused uh, uh, on the uh, Black Sea region, uh, uh, maritime uh, capabilities, working together with our uh, maritime command uh, in NATO in, 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 in the United Kingdom. Uh, and uh, uh, some support for the Coast Guard, uh, uh, port visits by NATO uh, ships. And we also recognized uh, during our conversation today the strategic importance of uh, the Black Sea region for Georgia, for NATO uh, allies. Um, and therefore, I welcome everything we can do together uh, in that vein. Um, we are now looking into whether we can add uh, more uh, elements to our uh, cooperation, and that in includes um, air traffic data, uh, whether we can improve the way we share information uh, about the radar picture, air traffic. Again, good for Georgia, good for NATO allies in a region uh, which, um, uh, where we have seen a substantial uh, Russian build-up over the last uh, years. We are also working closely on how to do more together to address hybrid threats. and. Uh, we are holding exercises uh, together in the Black Sea region, such as the res res recent exercise uh, uh, Noble uh, uh, Partner. And as the Prime Minister mentioned, we are now working on how to refresh the substantial uh, NATO Georgia uh, package. Uh, so the thing is that step by step we do more together, and uh, uh, not least, we are extremely grateful for uh, Georgia's strong commitment to NATO's training mission in Afghanistan. Uh, Georgia has for many years been one of the countries uh, at the top uh, level of uh, uh, contributions to that mission. Uh, and we strongly believe that we have, we have it, is, it is important that we are ready to, uh, to, to stay committed to Afghanistan because that's the best way we can support the peace efforts. So again, we are grateful for their close cooperation with uh, Georgia. We commend them for uh, the progress uh, you are making. And then we look forward to further strengthen our partnership and moving uh, towards full uh, Euro Atlantic integration. Uh, we agreed that the full last years we had very dynamic cooperation. Uh, on practical level, I mean the exercises, uh, and uh, 2019 was an excellent year for us in this uh, uh, regard. At the same time, we uh, fixed our readiness to continue reforms in different directions. And we think that it's very important for the development of the uh, country. And it's very important for deepening the cooperation between NATO and Georgia. The most important part for us was uh, 
um, to figure out the function of Georgia, the new role of Georgia on Black Sea security. We see Black Sea security as a window of opportunity for Georgia for deepening the cooperation with NATO. Of course, at the same time, very important elections are coming, and we fix our commitment that the government will do everything for free, few uh, elections, and it will be the next step forward for consolidating democracy in the country, and it will be the next step forward for deepening the cooperation with NATO on the political dimension. That's all we have time for. Thank you very much.